Hello there, this is Jonathan from the SS Motion bringing you another Halo Mega Box review. Now, this is another Halo 5 set. It is the Banshee Strike, which is set number CNG65. Comes with 173 pieces and retails for around £20. This is the Halo 5 Banshee that we've seen in the trailers and gameplay so far. Um, it comes with the Banshee itself, as you see, which we'll go into in great detail, and a nice copper almost brown Storm Elite. Uh, this is probably the closest we'll ever get to the dark brown Stealth Elites that you can see in one of the Spartan Ops missions. Um, so I'm going to use it as one of those, uh, but it is just a nice Elite altogether. Uh, this is a great little set. It's great for army building. I'm up to eight already, surprisingly. They just look good in a swarm. Absolutely love it. Uh, so let's carry on with the review and we'll go into the finer details. Now onto the figure, um, this is a standard Storm Elite from Halo 4 and Halo 5. It's a nice brown copper colour, get a nice version 2 needle with it, which is really, really good and game accurate. Uh, it has all the removable armour features that we've highlighted previously. The uh, sculpted pieces are fantastic. The paint apps, the little grey features on here and here are really, really good. No complaints with this guy, absolutely great. Love it, no problem with it. So happy to have another Elite in the collection. Now onto the Banshee itself, and like I said earlier, this is based on its Halo 5 appearance. You have the great little fuel rod cannons and uh, plasma cannons up top. They are the uh, cannons from the Ghost, but they work really well, especially if you look uh, and compare it to the actual in-game renders. You have some nice printed detail on the canopy, these red markings. Again, game accurate, so again, another fantastic attention to detail feature Megabox have given us here. Rotating it round, you have the uh, wings. These can pivot up and down. Um, they do. If you position them correctly, they are stopped and held in position here. Um, if you have this piece a little bit to that way, um, they can flip up even further, but that makes it less game accurate. So if you push it as far back on the clip as possible, um, it gets blocked by this piece and it won't move any higher, which is great if you want a game accurate Banshee. So rotating round, you have the uh, rear section. These are old school energy swords, which is absolutely fantastic. These are used um, as the positional things where the thrust comes out of. Now, as far as I'm aware, they don't move like this in game, but it's a cool little feature. Um, we'll highlight where the thrust pods do rotate in a second. So going round again, another wing that again, if you move it to the back, won't rotate any higher and then you have the oh yeah it comes off on a stand obviously but then you have the open and the ball canopy um, in there you can you have two little control sticks up the top uh, it fits one figure uh, rather easily and there's space in the roof to accommodate it if he sticks out a bit anyway but basically let's have a look at the thrust pods these are on the back here and as you can see if you move these these open up in the gate and they just close like that when it's going slower when it speeds up open up uh, so it's great that they added those they didn't have to so again another little great feature so as you can see the figure fits in really well the canopy can be closed um, but this is where I actually have an issue because I don't know if you can see that very well but the canopy doesn't really close properly now this can actually be fixed and it's really hard that Megabox did this so if you lift up the canopy pull out the figure and pull off these two bricks here as seen on this little strip the canopy can then close far better yes it still has a gap in it but it closes flush with the back which is game accurate so it's weird that they'd make it stick up about so it looks like that really really odd and you just remove that piece and it's fixed um I guess for people who want to keep the sets default, that's probably a bit of a downside that you have to remove a part. But the fact that it can easily be rectified um, is fine by me. And it makes for a far cooler, more streamlined looking craft. So for £20, you're getting a really good update to a Banshee that's not been updated since the Space Banshee in 2012. So it's really nice to see another update. Uh, and another Halo 5 vehicle. Megabox have been very up to date this time. We've had a brand new Scorpion, 
brand new Banshee, we're getting the Phaeton gunship. Absolutely brilliant that Mega Box are like up to date and these sets are coming out before Halo 5 as well which is great that you can have a collection and start playing Halo 5 as it were before the game even comes out. So absolutely great. Another set that you should definitely pick up and like I said earlier I have 8 because they look fantastic in a swarm so if you can and if you want to definitely get a few because they look brilliant side by side. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be reviewing more Halo, Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed sets in the coming weeks. We're very excited about how all these new sets are being released now. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye!